Now, researchers have been able to monitor COVID in our wastewater, and they're also using that same science to spot other potential health risks. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen shows us what they're finding. At this lab on the USC campus, what we flush down the toilet is being turned into a spring of information. This is where the data was analyzed? Yep, this is where the data was analyzed for our study. Dr. Adam Smith is an associate professor in the Department of Environmental Engineering. His team has been monitoring wastewater during the pandemic to track COVID-19. Recently, they found bacteria that are resistant to colistin, which is a last resort antibiotic, and it's the first time the germ has been detected in LA County wastewater. Antibiotic resistance, which is a growing threat and something that is circulating around the world. Dr. Smith says the spread of antibiotic resistance is the result of antibiotics being overprescribed for both humans and for livestock, especially when it comes to animals being raised in tight spaces. So lessening the overprescription, only prescribing antibiotics when they're actually needed. The samples were gathered at the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant in Playa del Rey and the Joint Water Pollution Control Plant in Carson in containers like these. The water was collected before it's been treated. This is totally different from what comes out the back end of a treatment plant where over 12 hours we convert sewage into essentially drinking water quality and that water uh, we've re reduced the vast majority of any bacteria or viruses. Dr. Smith and his team are currently working on wastewater surveillance at USC to monitor COVID-19, influenza, and other diseases. He believes wastewater analysis can be used as early indicators on community health. So if we see it increasing in wastewater now, we could forecast that there will be an increase in clinical cases for colistin resistance in the future in LA County. Dr. Smith says wastewater surveillance can help to pinpoint geographical areas where certain antibiotics can be less effective because resistance is circulating in that community. In Playa del Rey, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.